How's my hair? Is my hair good? It's really soft. Whatever, I don't care. So, this time, I got this creature that's... Um, it's in the news a lot recently. I think everybody's heard about the whole story with it, or bits and pieces, or has heard something or other about this thing. Uh, the Mumblebee. Um, it's going extinct. I'm sure we all know that by now. Um, but no one's... You gotta start doing something. You can't just know it. You gotta start doing something, which... You know, we all gotta start doing something. Stop killing them, please. They're, they're not gonna do anything to you. Um, here we got a picture of a bumblebee. You know, they're nice, big, fat, and fluffy. Um, they're, they're not a honeybee, which is... We'll put a honeybee over here. And there's a bumblebee, and there's a honeybee. Bumble, honey. Uh, bumblebees, for our first fact here, bumblebees, it, they don't die after they sting you. That's a myth. The bumblebees can sting you more than once. Um, the males, actually, uh, before we get into that, hold on, gotta, gotta pace myself here. So the bumblebees, they don't die. Honeybees, they die. They, they die after they sting you. That's a honeybee thing. Bumblebees don't. But, for fact number uh, two, um, the bumblebees, only the females have stingers, the males, the drones, they don't have stingers. They don't, they can't do anything to you. I mean, maybe they can bite you a little bit, but you're probably not going to feel it. Um, I guess it still scare people, though, because, ooh, scary yellow bug might kill me. I don't know. Um, it's not going to kill you, so stop killing them, please. Um, let's go on to our next one here. They are found worldwide, pretty much, except for, like, the North Pole and, like, frozen places. They're found pretty worldwide. Um, be I mean, which makes sense, because there's, like, 255 species of them. It makes sense that they're all over the place but they're still going extinct, so stop. Um, next here, the um, everybody's heard of the thing about how, or at least most people, I have, and I think most people have. I'm going to make an assumption here that most people have heard about this. Um, bees like defy aerodynamics by flying because their bodies are so fat and their wings are so small, um, but they don't. They don't defy aerodynamics. What happens is um, their wings go back and forth kind of like a helicopter blades. I mean, it doesn't go all the way around, but kind of goes back and forth and creates like little vortexes beneath the wings instead of like up and down, like most wings happen. They go back and forth, which makes it, you know, them fly, clearly. Um, so yeah, they don't, they don't defy our dynamics, so stop saying that. It makes sense. You just got to look at it closer. Uh, the next one here is, oops, they're the best pollinators out there. A lot of things pollinate, birds pollinate, bats pollinate, other bees pollinate, all this stuff pollinates, other bugs pollinate, um, but bumblebee, you can't beat a bumblebee in pollination, they're just the best, they, you can't do it anything, you can't beat it, you want, because, because this is why they're the best, they have a special method called a buzz pollination, which because they beat their wings so fast, about 130 times a second, um, they, it actually vibrates, they make them vibrate, and that vibrates because they're vibrating and they're on the flower, then, you know, the flower is vibrating. Um, it actually makes them release more pollen. The flower makes their makes the flower re the, 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 makes the flower release more pollen because it's vibrating and that makes sense. Just think about it for a second and you should probably understand it. Um, but yeah, so they use that special method, so they're just they're just the best out there. So stop killing them and stop doing these bad things that in turn kill them because we kinda need them to live. I mean, if life finds a way, we can always get around it, but we could, why? Why would we want to make or put ourselves into that situation when we can just stop doing the things to them that we do to them? Just stop. Help the bee. It's just friendly. Look, get a picture here again. Look at it. It's just friendly. It just wants to, just wants a hug. Um, just stop. The next fact I got here is the, um, they have, like most insects, they're covered in like an oil, basic kind of, an oil, oily kind of substance, which makes them waterproof. So this little bee could be a scuba diver. It just wants to be friends, you know? Just stop killing it, if I haven't stressed that enough. Um, they actually, next one here, um, this one might come as a surprise maybe, uh, but they... I guess they get mixed up with honeybees a lot. Uh, bumblebees don't really make honey. They make honey to eat and stuff because it's a good sugary thing keeps them going. But 
they pretty much just make as much as they need. Um, they make some, they give it to the queen, maybe have a little bit of themselves, that's it. They don't store it anywhere, they just, you know, that's it, that's all they need. Uh, the honeybee, however, the honeybee is the one that makes all the honey, that makes, you know, tea taste good and all this stuff, and makes your throat feel better. That's a honeybee, that's not a bumblebee. Bumblebees don't make the honey. They make, I mean, they make honey, but they don't make all the honey. They don't make, they make honey for themselves, they don't make honey for everybody else, like a honeybee does. Um, yeah. Uh, their hives, actually, next year, their hives, the bumblebee hive is, hive, is, um, they you like to build them ground level, or as close to them at ground level as they can get, uh, some of them being underground and stuff, uh, they kind of look something like this, if we can get a picture of a bumblebee hive right here, they're kind of like, they're pretty simple, they're just kind of like, you know, places for them to chill out and hang, uh, this is the honeybee one, that's the one everybody thinks of when they think of a bee, uh, that's the one up in the tree that makes all the honey and the bears eat or whatever. That's the one that people think of. That's a honeybee. That's a bumblebee. Bumble, honey. Honey, bumble. Stop mixing them up. They're different things. Um, let's see, what else do I got here? They are, bumblebees are one of the most social creatures out there. Um, you know, because colonies. They, um... They have, live in colonies of like 50 to 500, which is actually like one of, the, one of, if not the smallest colony for bees. Bees usually live in like colonies of thousands, but they, they, they're good with, you know, up to 500. They're, they're, they're pretty comfortable. They don't need all these luxurious things uh, like these pampered honeybees do. But, you know, we don't got to talk about honeybees. This is about bumblebees. So, next year, um, during the late fall times, uh, you know, like... September, October, well, not September, probably, so much, more, like, more like probably October area, when it starts getting a little cold out, um, all of the bees die. They all die, except for the queen. All of them just die. Um, the queen goes into hibernation mode during the coldness, and then she'll come back, you know, springtime, which is why I said if you see those big bees out there, they're probably queens, so don't kill them. Um, she goes out after her hibernation in springtime and just goes finds a new place for a nest and lays... That's getting annoying. Uh, lays eggs and then incubates them. Lays like, I don't know, I think, I think I found like 20 or something. And then incubates them and does all this regular worker bee stuff. And then once those hatch, she's got it easy. She just, she just hangs out and just lays eggs for the rest of her life. For, yeah, for the rest of her life effectively until she has to go do the thing again. Um, Cause then they'll do all the stuff for her and who cares? She can just hang out, you know? She works probably like one day out of the year. I mean, well, she's giving birth all the time, but that's kind of what she just does, you know? She only, like, goes out and does stuff for a little bit, for, a, like, a few days a year. Um, only when she actually needs to. Uh, the next one I got here is the, let's see, they eat all, they, well, yeah, they eat all the time because they have to eat all the time. Um, because of the high energy flying takes, um, and their heavy bodies and all these other variables. They, um, it's said that, like, a bee on, like, a full stomach is still only, like, 40 minutes away from starvation. So they gotta constantly keep eating, um, just all the time, which is probably why they're so fat. But they're actually, let me add this on here, the second fat. They're so fat, and they eat all this honey, and they're fat and chubby and furry and all this stuff. Um... For a reason, they can actually it makes it makes them able to work in these colder environments still, so they can be worldwide instead of just in like along the equator area. But yeah, no, they're all over the place because they're fat and they keep themselves warm. Um, actually, the next one here, the queen bee, when when she's incubating the eggs, she'll um, kind of like you know like shake. When you know when you get really cold and you shake, she'll kind of do something like that to keep those eggs warm and to keep herself warm. Uh, so she doesn't die, so the eggs don't die. And she, she can just still lay there, so she doesn't do anything. You know, good thing. Uh, next here, the queen actually controls the sex of the um, offspring. Uh, she has full control over that. She can, if she wants to have a male baby, she can just lay an unfertilized egg. But if she wants to have a female baby, baby she uses uh, sperm that she just keeps inside of her. I mean... Obviously, a male bee puts it inside of her, but she it can just live inside of her, and she'll use that, and then she'll fertilize an egg, and then that egg will become female. So she has full control over what 
sex her kids end up being. Um, and next here they uh, running off of that one. For every for every like female bee, every queen or whatever out there, there's actually seven male bees. So most of them go without mating. Um, which you know, that's a lot of that's a lot of boys running around the house. Uh, but um, which is just not, you know, like I said, the males don't have stingers, so they're pretty harmless since most of them are males. So just you know, just be friends with the bees. The bees are nice. Uh, let's see what else here. The honey, I'm sh I'm sure everybody knows bees make honey. Uh, like I said earlier, honey bees are the ones that make all the all these these ones. The honey bees, those are the ones that make like all the honey that we eat and stuff. Uh, the uh, bumblebee just makes enough for it to live, basically. Um, it's made from, they'll kind of get the pollen, they'll, you know, obviously collect all this pollen, and then they'll kind of munch on it and stuff, and as they're munching on it, it'll mix it with the saliva, and that'll create the honey substance, and then they'll give that to the queen, give some for themselves so they don't die, since they are always only 40 minutes from starvation, which is a pretty terrible way to live life, because as often I times, I, oftentimes I go without eating for maybe like, 43 minutes at a time, so I might I would die as a bee, so you know, I just I don't want to be a bee, but I want to be friends with bees uh, Let's see the we can actually next one here um, All of our knowledge is all of, our, all of our knowledge of bumblebees is from this guy called uh, Let's see if I can pronounce the name right here Frederick William Lombard uh, Sladen We'll kind of get the name across the bottom here because I probably said it wrong but that guy, who died in the early 1900s, um, he's responsible for pretty much everything we know about bees. He wrote his first book when he was 16 in the 1800s, um, and that's it, that's that's it. Nobody's really found anything other than what he has written in his book. So he's like, he devoted. He's a scientist. He devoted his entire study to uh, bumblebees, and he found out pretty much everything we still know, like almost 100 years later. Well, actually if you're going off the first book more than 100 years later, but, you know, which is weird, I think, but maybe he's just a, well, he obviously was a genius, but, so you gotta thank your boy Freddy for all you know about bees. Freddy's, Freddy's, Freddy's Papa Bee. Um, and to finish it off here, I got this weird one, kind of weird one, other than our boy Freddy, who's, uh, must be a great guy. He's dead. He's super dead now, but he must have, when he was alive, must have been pretty cool guy probably a lot of, he probably smelled like honey and bees a lot but you know whatever he found a lot uh, so to finish it off here the bees actually have um, scented feet basically um, they serve multiple purposes they uh, one purpose being so when they land on the plant obviously their feet touch the plant uh, the flower and they'll pollinate and then other things other bees and stuff will smell that and they'll be like, oh, well, that plant is already done, so we don't need to go do it because there's no pollen there, so it's a waste of time. So it serves that purpose. And it also serves a purpose to, like, find each other in case they need to find each other or they, like, get lost or whatever. And uh, also it helps them find the way home because it'll kind of, obviously, it'll be like a path to the hive. So they'll be able to find their way home from that. And, you know, they can differentiate between each other and stuff. And, you know, it's just kind of weird. They have smelly feet, but probably decently good smelling feet, I guess? I don't know. I don't know how you would judge that. But that's all I got on bumblebees for now. Um, let me just finish it off by saying, please stop killing the bumblebees. They just want to make friends. They just want to live their little bumblebee life. Just buzzing around, buzz pollinating everything. So just stop. So, let's do. So like, comment, and subscribe for more animal things and other things if I eventually ever get to it, and um, stay toasty.